Hi guys, Perry here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add annotations to screenshot or annotate a screenshot. Um, now to do that we're going to use a tool called Good Annotations. Um, and to get to the right page, what you need to do is you head over to Google and search annotate screenshot good annotations. Hit enter. And then the link you want is the second link here, annotate screenshot good annotations. So let's click that. And then we're taken to the good annotations website and we want to click the button that says start annotating a screenshot. What would you like to do? So we have two options here on this screen. We can upload a screenshot that you might already have. Or if you don't have a screenshot, there's actually a tool here that helps you capture screenshots. And with this, you can capture any application window on your computer or even a um, browser tab that you might have open. I've got none open, but you might have a browser tab open. You can click that and it will take a screenshot of that tab. Um, but if you've already got one, you can just upload it on the left here. I'm actually going to click try sample. And the sample is a screenshot of the Google homepage. Um, so in this example, let's pretend that I'm creating a user guide on how to search in Google. And to do that, we probably want to add some labels onto the screenshot to point our users in the right direction. So to do that, what I'm going to do is, um, first of all, I'm going to highlight the search input using the draw rectangle to show them that they first need to type in here. So here we go, we're drawing attention to the input field, but what we don't have is any text to tell them what to do. So to do that, I'm actually going to use the label tool here on the left. I'm gonna click that and it says click anywhere to create a label and I'm just gonna click on the side here of this rectangle and we've created a nice label. I think that's maybe a bit too big. I can draw it, make it bigger over the side of the screenshot, but I wanna keep it within the frame of the screenshot that I already have. So I'm gonna shrink that a little bit, move it into the middle. And then I'm going to double click to edit and say um, enter search term. And then just draw that over there. Cool. So that's step one for our users. What about step two? Step two is probably um, hitting the search button. So again, maybe we want to um, do the same again. So we could draw a square just to highlight the button. And then we could use label again, but um, we have got some other options which are under the text pane. So let's open that um, and we can use something else here. So we have some more annotation marks. We've got more long form one here. We have some sticky notes for some general annotations. And then we have a example elements, which is like, do this thing, don't do this thing. So that's great for like showing examples in your screenshots. Um, for this one, I'm gonna tend to use a long form. I probably won't write enough content in here for the long form one, but I'm going to use it because I want to show you guys. And then we can, same thing, double click and say, um, when you finish typing in the input, use the Google search button to search. there we go. So we've got that. The thing here is it's different. Why haven't we got a little arrow like the label? Now for these annotation elements, we actually have to draw that arrow ourselves. So you can go over to the draw mode again, like we did for the rectangle, and we can click the arrow here. Now all you need to do is where you want to start the arrow to where you want to finish it. And then let's just connect those. Perfect. Well, there you go. Um, that was a quick example on how you can annotate a screenshot using good annotations. There's plenty of other elements there that you could do um, to use for annotations, but I've just shown you a couple of examples that are quick. Um, great thing about it is that they use a standardized design approach. So every time you annotate a screenshot, it looks the same. So if you we always end up annotating more than one screenshot. So when you've got a series, especially in like a how-to guide, it means all of your screenshots look the same and they're using the same design, which is perfect because then the user's seeing the same thing. So it's great for content. Um, so you can download that image if you hit more and download as image when you're finished with it, 
or you can share with a quick link um, here. Okay, right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, hit the subscribe button below and we'll create more content like this. Okay, thanks.